Hey, what's going on guys? This is the new Everfocus Sidekick. And basically it's an installation aid for when you install your IP cameras. Okay. Now this will provide you, um, this will make it easy for you to install your cameras by connecting to your phone as the screen. So we'll do a little demo here with the phone. We'll plug in a camera so you can check this out. Okay, so what this is, this is an external, this is equipped with an external Wi-Fi router with a built-in DHCP server. So that'll make, install, that'll make installing your cameras a lot easier when you're up on the ladder. Okay, now you have your Ethernet port right there. If your camera is PoE capable, you can go ahead and just plug that in or there is another port there where you can plug in the power. Now, if your phone is low on juice, there is a USB port. This is to charge your phone as the screen, okay? And over here, this is where you're going to go ahead and plug. Uh, it does have an internal battery that's recharged, but go ahead and plug the power supply to it, okay? Now, when you turn it on, you have your five lights there. When it starts getting low on the battery, it'll go down to four, three, two, one. The charge, if it's red, it's charging. If it's green, it's good to roll. Now let's uh, plug camera into it. Okay, so once your camera's plugged in, you're gonna wanna go ahead and turn on the Wi-Fi on your mobile phone. And there it is. Go ahead and connect to it. And there is an app that you need to download to go ahead and view the camera and make some other adjustments to it. The app, it's the EF Sidekick. Let's go ahead and click that. And it'll show you what's connected there. And the uh, password's going to be user1. Uh, the user, the password's going to be eight number ones. So you're going to want to go ahead and connect. And there it is. Go ahead and move the camera so you can get a... Oh, there we are. Okay, so I just thought I'd play with this app a little bit more just to dig into it uh, a little bit more. Um, one thing I do want to mention that there is a help button here. If you press that, you'll go ahead and pull up the user manual for the ESK-1000. So in case you forget uh, maybe a step during the features and there's also the, let's see, to getting started how to here pretty much if you forget how to use it you haven't done it in maybe a month uh, if you're like me you forget a lot of things but um, it's right here everything saved for you in the app so let's go ahead and get out of here let's go ahead and connect to the camera there we go okay let's connect Okay, and as you can tell, I've um, got the camera on me. Hey, what's up? Hey. Um, I'm just going through the manual here, and it mentions that um, there's a few buttons here on the bottom. The pan, tilt, zoom feature is right there. And you also have, there's a snapshot feature up here that you can press. It'll take a picture and save it on your phone couple things that aren't here on the bottom of my phone in the manual it does mention there's also a microphone button that should be there and also a local recording button I'm not sure if there's something with the camera I need to turn on I haven't played with that part yet but there is also the audio button you can tap to go ahead and enable or disable the audio output speaker function and um, I mean it seems pretty cool in the Manual also mentions that the you can adjust the iris, the focus. There's a tour that you can play with here, and there's also the as I mentioned before the PTZ control. 
so you might want to just go ahead and browse through the manual and see what other features this does but it seems uh, pretty cool okay if you have any other questions or need to order online visit discountlowvoltage.com later